What's going on YouTube? It's Jesse coming back to you with another video and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to start making shitloads of coaching package sales without a big brand. You're not going to want to miss this. My name is Jesse Thompson, founder of Coaching Superiority. We help people start email copywriting businesses for clients, inbound closing businesses for clients, as well as coaching low ticket and high ticket so that you can build your brand, live free, not have to work a nine to five job, scale to the moon, our top client to $200,000 in a single month from the stuff that we help them do. So we definitely know how to scale you to a million dollars a year as long as you're willing to work with us. <laughs> So I would definitely join the Facebook group below, a community full of people that are passionate about email copying, all of the stuff that I've just mentioned. They're willing, more than happy to help you. Weekly Zoom calls so that you can get free help and definitely book a call if you're looking for support in your business. You just don't know where to go, whether you're a newbie or you've already got a huge existing business and you're having a hard time getting sales. Definitely book a one-on-one -on -one call with myself. I'd love to chat with you. See if my coaching superiority mentorship program is a good fit for you. But anyway, Back to the video. Here's how to make money as a coach without a big brand. All right, guys, so this is the kind of stuff that has worked for me. It's also worked for my clients. So what you're gonna wanna do, since you have no one that wants to do business with you, you have to get known, right? Most people in the coaching space, what they do is they tell you to go, uh, you know, friend people on Facebook, get in their DMs, and then pitch them a service. That is one of the most dog shit strategies you could ever try to do. Why? Because First of all, a person has no clue who you are. Um, their trust level is an all-time low. It's just a pain in the ass, a huge pain in the ass to do that on a, on a, on a long-term scale. It's, it's just annoying to the person receiving your DM. It's super unmotivating to do it on a day-to-day -day basis. So you might as well pick your, pick your hard. You're either gonna do that or you're gonna do what I'm gonna show you here, which is still hard, but at least the quality of your calls are gonna skyrocket the, person's, the person doesn't think it's necessarily that you're going to pitch them hardcore because you didn't slide into their DMs. They came to you looking for your support. So it doesn't matter. There's no crazy way to go out there. There's no secret tactic to ma magically get calls booked by manually going out and DMing people. It's not how it works. Or, you know, you're, you're selling a course. You're not going to be able to go DM your way to course sales. You need to attract people to you. There's no other way to do it. You can do ads, but ads are extremely expensive when you're just starting out. And especially when you don't have a dialed in offer, you have no clue how good your uh, ads are gonna convert. You'll probably waste a lot of money like the majority of people and get absolutely nowhere. So what I would do if I was starting brand new as a coach, I didn't have any brand, is I would start a YouTube channel. Most people don't wanna start a YouTube channel, just how it is. They're too lazy. And that's why they wonder, you know, where's my, books, where's my book calls? <laughs> start a YouTube channel, get your face out there, start filming yourself. And you'd be surprised how much YouTube blesses you with traffic. It's just insane. If you know what you're doing, if you have the right tools that you're using to rank your videos and you're doing the right keyword research, which I would recommend you use a tool called TubeBuddy. There's so many different ways that you can rank your YouTube videos. I personally have used TubeBuddy. It's worked really well for me, but it's up to you how you want to rank your videos. What you want to do is start getting views to your YouTube channel. That's pretty much where, the, that's where a lot of your book calls are going to come from. That's the best way too. That's where I get a lot of my calls from. That's where my clients get a lot of their calls from. And that's where they get the majority of their calls from. It's just how it is. YouTube is a powerhouse for getting yourself clients, even if you're a small brand, as long as you, as you format your videos the right way and have a CTA at the end, you'll get book calls. Now, you'll wanna eventually start retargeting the people with YouTube ads that viewed your videos, no one else, only the people that viewed your videos. And there's a way to set that up. It's not even, I'm not even gonna get into that in this video. It's a ton of, ton of work to get into that. You set up a YouTube ads account and you retarget everyone that has watched your videos. And you don't wanna go too far back. You know, like someone watched a video from you like six months ago, you don't really wanna target that person because they're clearly not interested if they're six months away. They, they viewed your last video six months ago. You wanna have people that targeted that have viewed your stuff now, like 30 to 60 days max. By the way, when I say no splitter here, it basically means you don't need a splitter link. A lot of influencers nowadays are using splitter links, basically where you click one link and then there's like 10 different links inside and you click whatever one you want. That's great for social media platforms like Twitter, like TikTok, Instagram, but it's not good for YouTube and Facebook because YouTube and Facebook give you plenty of real estate to put your links so that you can have all of your links right there. You don't, you're just introducing another step when you do a splitter link because that person has to click the splitter then they can finally see all your links on youtube and facebook you've got plenty of real estate on your posts 
on your Facebook group, on your channel, in the description to just put the links right there. Call out what the link is. It saves the person clicking one step. But what you're gonna wanna do is use your Facebook profile, optimize it. You can even go kind of model what I'm doing. Optimize your Facebook profile to get people to go to your Facebook group. The Facebook group is where you're gonna be doing live Zoom calls every week. You're gonna be giving all the secrets to your people in the Facebook group. That's what you are gonna be doing versus your, your own Facebook profile. You can post up on your own personal Facebook profile, but people aren't gonna be as likely to raise their hand or buy your stuff on your personal Facebook profile. The people that join your group though, you know are red hot because they ended up joining your group. And you can invite your friends to your group or you can wait for YouTube to start giving you people to join your Facebook group, which you should be putting that as one of your links in your YouTube videos as a Facebook group. So build a Facebook group in parallel to building your YouTube channel and everyone that joins your Facebook group, you know are red hot people that are interested in what you have to say versus your Facebook profile, just a regular one. There's gonna be a lot of people that aren't interested in your stuff because they're just your friends. So you wanna use your Facebook profile to direct people to the group. And in the Facebook profile, you'll be posting completely different things than you post inside the group. Facebook profile should be more content tailored toward getting them into the group and in the group, it should be more content focused on you know, generating sales, helping your people in the group out if they're stuck, whatever kind of value you have you give away in your Facebook group. Again, no splitter needed with Facebook platform. Twitter is a great tool to start using immediately when you start your coaching business if you have no brand. It's a very quick pro platform to build up followers. You can do follow. You can just go follow profiles. They'll follow you back. About 30% will follow you back. Um, you can go engage with all people that are interested in your same niche that you're in. Uh, you can go basically engage. People will start to come check out your profile. And on your profile, you'd have it set up basically like, oh, I'm a weight loss, uh, weight loss coach, or I'm a dating coach, or I'm a recruiting coach, or I'm a career services coach, whatever. Your Twitter profile will be optimized. You go engage with people that would need your service by typing in keywords on Twitter. I have all this inside my Twitter program and this links in the description. Uh, but you go and engage, people come to your profile, they follow you, they end up booking a call with you. And on Twitter, you either have a link in the bio that would go to a splitter with all of your links. Or if you don't really have a lot of links, then you just you know have them go straight to book a call with, with you or a course sale. Or you can direct them to your Facebook group if you want to have further nurturing of the lead. It's up to you, whatever you want to put. You only have one link, though, you can put in Twitter bio. You can put two but there's only one official spot to put it. A lot of people will put two links in their bio. I only put one, that's all you really need. And there's only really one spot that's official for Twitter on your, your, on your, uh, on your Twitter account. Last but not least, what you're gonna wanna do as a brand new coach if you have no following is start a TikTok channel. Now, this is not required at all, but the fact that TikTok's is so hot right now, it's a good idea to start posting TikToks you can use the content you're already filming for your YouTube videos, your whatever you're putting out on YouTube, you can use that same content on TikTok. It's already super hot targeting on TikTok as well. TikTok is promoting people to come over and become content creators versus, you know, Facebook isn't as uh, isn't as uh, friendly when it comes to content creators lately at least. TikTok's attracting content marketers um, whereas Facebook's kind of iffy and what you're going to want to do when you're starting out on TikTok because you can't have a link is you're going to want to direct people to your YouTube channel and you can do that with TikTok you can direct people to your YouTube channel when you're starting out and then once you've reached the threshold to put your link you would do the same thing you did with Twitter you put a splitter link and the splitter link would be all of your you know things that you you offer whether it be book a call you're selling a, a course um you're pointing to the Facebook group and the same exact setup as Twitter as far as links go. You can only put one link in TikTok. All right, guys, hope you found massive value in this video. Definitely check out the links in the description. Loads of different things that you can do. You can book a call with me. Um, we'll get you to six, seven figures a year, whether email copywriting, inbound closing, or course selling, coaching package selling. I got a Twitter course in the bio. You can get involved with super cheap, it's like seven bucks. You can learn all of my secrets for growing your Twitter to 47 to $850 plus days definitely join my facebook group for all things coaching high ticket sales email copywriting you get all of your questions answered inside that group as well as the weekly live calls make sure to subscribe
hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. Peace.